A Nisswa woman has been honored with the 2016 American Red Cross Community Hero Award in Minnesota for becoming a vital part of the daily communications in the Nisswa and Brainerd area during a severe windstorm in July 2015. Nisswa Chamber Director Sean Hansen became a vital part of that communication after the devastating storm on July 12th. Hansen helped secure the venue for the Command Relief Center coordinated meals from local businesses for volunteer cleanup crews, attended twice-a-day meetings to keep up to date on EMS progress with restoring power, worked with local relief agencies for getting services to residents and businesses, and also helped screen the storm chaser business that came into town to work and potentially scam residents. We're all gathered in the basement of Crow Wing County Sheriff's and we said, we need a command post. We need somewhere that we could be, that people could have access to, and we could get access to people. And so the sheriff looked at me and he said, Sean, we need to come to Nisswa. That's where it happened. I took a deep breath and I said, give me 30 seconds. And so I walked out in the hallway and I called a pastor at a local church and I said, I need your parking lot. And within two hours, we had a command center sent up in our little town of Nisswa. Our Facebook page became like the Daily Dispatch. Uh, we went to every meeting, we paid attention to what was going on, and we communicated the best that we could. How do I get into my place when the road's blocked? How do I get water when my water's not working? How do I, um, when is the electricity going to turn back on? And, you know, she helped facilitate those answers right away. Hansen was honored at the 8th Annual American Red Cross Heroes Breakfast on Friday, May 6th. The Community Hero Award is presented to an individual who displays courage and caring upon encountering an unusual, significant, or unexpected incident. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.